welcome in this video we are going to obtain the following relation among elastic constant the relation is y equal to 3k 1 minus 2 sigma where y is young's modulus k k is the bulk modulus sigma sigma is poison ratio to derive this relation we will first consider a cube of unit length so we will draw a cube with each side is of unit length length one that means each face will be a square so this is a square this is actually a square this is also a square now what will we do you can say this one is x axis this one is y axis and this one is z axis you can name this cube a b c d e f g h now this faces a b c d and e f g h these two faces are perpendicular to x axis so we will apply a force f in the direction of outward normal along these two faces so we will apply two more forces in the direction of y axis that is in this direction and the direction downward each of this face is f f f f now two faces are remaining the z axis perpendicular to z axis the perpendicular to z axis are two faces the front face we will apply a force f here and will you apply a force f here in the negative z direction what does it mean it means each of the six faces is being applied a force f in the outward normal direction so what will be the effect of these forces we will cons first consider the force or force applied along x axis so it is being stressed along x axis that means there will be increase in the length along x axis and because of the Poisson ratio there will be decrease in the length along y axis and z axis for example if you stretch a wire along x axis its diameter will reduce that means it will contract among y axis and z axis so for the force applied on x axis there will be increase in length along x axis and decrease in length in length along y and z axis so there will be increase in the length along x axis and there will be decrease in the length along y and z axis you can say this stress is how much stress equal to force upon area for this force f is being applied on a face a b c d or you can say e f g h the area is one into one because length is one so it is f what is strain strain equal to how much change in length per unit length that means change in length is how much <coughs> that means change in length upon one so it is equal to change in length and this cube is being stretched along x-axis because of the force applied along x-axis you can say young's modulus so young's modulus equal to longitudinal stress upon strain the longitudinal stress here is f this is stress is f so you can say it is f and the strain is actually the change in length along x-axis the change in 
length it actually increase in length because the length is being increased along x axis so it is increase in length you can say young's modulus y here so the increase in length is how much equal to f upon y the increase in length is you can take this y here in the denominator so it is along x axis so increase in length along x axis is f upon y it is because of the force applied along x axis so there will be decrease in the length along y axis and z axis and this can be obtained with the help of poisson ratio what is poisson ratio so poisson ratio is lateral strain upon longitudinal strain Longitudinal means along the length. Now the force is being applied along like x-axis. That means this direction is along the length, or you can say strain along x-axis. So longitudinal strain is this one. So longitudinal strain is the change in length. So it is the change in length along x-axis. What is the lateral strain? Lateral strain is the, is the direction which is perpendicular to the longitudinal strain. So the length is along x-axis and the perpendicular directions are y-axis and z-axis. You can say it is the change in length along y or z-axis. To be specific, we can say that change in length along x-axis is actually the increase in length. along x axis and change in length along y axis z axis is actually the decrease in length decrease in length along y or z axis so it is poisson ratio and it is sigma what is the increase in length along x axis the increase in length along x axis actually we have written here it is f upon y so decrease in length so it is equal to sigma equal to decrease in length along y or z axis and it is upon f upon y so from here you can say that decrease in length along y axis equal to sigma f upon y we can take this f upon y here and decrease in length along z axis it is also sigma y f upon y it is equation 2 and equation 3 so what we have obtained we have done three equations that is the force applied along x axis will cause an increase in the length along x axis f upon y will cause decrease in the length along y axis sigma f upon y will cause decrease in the length along z axis as sigma f upon y now for the force applied along y axis now if we have applied the force along y axis there will be increase in the length along y axis and there will be decrease in the length along x axis and z axis you can write increase in length along y axis and decrease in the length along x axis and also decrease in length along z axis so the amount of increase and amount of decrease will also be the same as we have calculated for the x axis now the amount by which the length is being increased is f upon y and the amount by which it is being decreased is sigma f upon y so the increase in length along y axis will be f upon y and the decrease in the length along y axis and z axis will be sigma f upon y 
and it will be sigma f one y. And we can write the number of equation four, five, and six. Similarly, we can write for the force applied along z axis. So there will be increase in the length along z axis and decrease along x and y axis. So you can say increase in length along z axis and decrease in length along x axis and y axis. Decrease in length. along y axis so the increase will be f upon y and decrease will be sigma f upon y so the increase in the length along x axis will be f upon y and decrease will be similarly sigma f upon y because of the poisson ratio sigma f upon y we can write the equation 7 8 and 9 now in case all six forces or you can say the force is applied on the all six faces you can say the Force along x axis, force along y axis, force along z axis are applied simultaneously. In case all forces along x axis, y axis, z axis applied simultaneously. What will happen? There will be change in the length along x axis, there will be change in the length along y axis, change in the length because of the first one the x axis will increase and for the second one the x axis will decrease, the third one x axis will decrease. That means you can say change in length along x axis equal to how much? For the increase we will put plus sign, for decrease we will put minus sign. So in the equation 1 there is x axis, in equation 5 there is x axis and equation 8 there is x axis. So from equation 1, equation 5 and equation 8, from equation 1, equation 1 says there is increase in the length along x axis that means it will have plus sign. So you will write f upon y with plus sign f upon y. Now equation 5, equation 5 is decrease that means minus sigma f upon y because it is being decreased minus sigma f upon y. For equation 8, equation 8 is this one it is decrease in length so it is minus sigma f upon y. So it is minus sigma f upon y and the total will be equal to f upon y 1 minus 2 sigma. Now this was the change in length along x axis. Now we will find change in length along y axis from equation y axis. The equation for y axis was equation 2, equation 4, equation 9, equation 2, equation 4, equation 9. What was equation 2? Equation 2 was decrease that means minus sigma f upon y. So we will write minus sigma minus sigma f upon y. Equation 4 Equation 4 was how much? Equation 4 was Equation 4 was increase in length that is plus f upon y. So it is plus f upon y. What is equation 9? Equation 9 was decrease. So equation 9 was decrease that means minus sigma f upon y. So it is minus sigma f upon y. So it will be equal to f upon y 1 minus 2 sigma. What is change in length? along z axis 
from equation z axis means it is there in the equation 3 equation 6 equation 7 3 6 7 from equation 3 from equation 6 and from equation 7 what was equation 3 equation 3 so equation 3 is degree that means minus sigma f upon y so it is minus sigma minus sigma f upon y 6 what is equation 6 equation 6 is degree so it is sigma f upon y so it is degree means minus sigma f upon y what is equation 7 equation 7 is this one so it is increase that means plus f upon y so it will be plus plus f upon y so it will be f upon y 1 minus 2 sigma initially each side is having length 1 that means unit length and the change is also same the change here is the f upon y 1 minus 2 sigma the change here is the f upon y 1 minus 2 sigma and the change here is f upon y 1 minus 2 sigma so each side is being being increased by the same amount that means q will remain q its shape will not be changed but volume will be increased so the new length new side of the q how much it will be initial side plus j that means f upon y 1 minus 2 sigma new volume will be equal to 1 plus f upon y 1 minus 2 sigma q old volume equal to 1 cube that is 1 because the each side was 1 change in volume equal to 1 plus f upon y 1 minus 2 sigma cube minus 1 that is now this one this quantity f upon y 1 minus 2 sigma is the change in length along x axis along y axis and along z axis and this amount is very very less than the 1 that means you can expand it like binomial theorem a 1 plus x raised for n is 1 plus nx plus nn minus 1 upon 1 to x square then x cube term so we can neglect all terms which are higher order of square and higher that means you can write this expression as 1 plus nx and here is 3 so we will write 1 plus 3 f upon y 1 minus 2 sigma minus 1 that means minus cancels out so it will be equal to 3 f upon y 1 minus 2 sigma that is change in volume what was initial volume initial volume was 1 so you can write with the definition of bulk modulus equal to stress upon volume strain stress is actually f upon 1 and volume strain is change in volume upon volume so it is f and change in volume is 3 f upon y 1 minus 2 sigma upon 1 that means it will be equal to f upon 3f upon y 1 minus 2 sigma this f cancels out y can be taken the numerator y can be taken to the numerator that means it will be equal to y upon 3 1 minus 2 sigma what is bulk modulus bulk modulus is k so you can write it as y equal to 3k 1 minus 2 sigma which is the required expression where y is the Young's modulus, k is the bulk modulus and sigma is the Poisson ratio. The PDF copy of the notes of this video can be found in the description below. Thank you.